Hey guys and girls, it's Komodo Dragon here. Real quick before we begin this Fallout overview. I've been working on this video for about a year now, and my voice changes throughout the video. I got really tired of listening to the sound of my own voice while editing this. At a few points in the video, I was just like, whoop, and decided to just modulate my voice. So just ignore all voice changes in the video. This will be my first game overview and it contains tips, impressions, best bits, and things that would have been awesome to have in the game, yes. but weren't, and would be awesome to have in the next game. I realize I'm a little bit late to the party again to do any sort of overview or review of Fallout 4, but this video is just sort of made for comedic purposes, so uh, enjoy. Press any button to start. Here's a few Fallout 4 tips and impressions. Alright, look. Luck. Luck is important. Start with at least 7 luck, and you can get idiots of all. Then, as soon as you can, abandon the dog for Piper. I know he's fuzzy, but Piper, once you max her affinity out, gives you double XP for everything you discover. So the earlier on you get her, the more useful she's going to be to you. <laughs> Desdemona is just like... I wish I could have used more kill quips in my videos. Like when I just wrote Take Railroad time, HQ, please. I could have said something like, Why? Looks like this was the Why? railroad's final destination, <laughs> or some crap like that. Less so, I guess, um, this is on the list. So, you know uh, tip is if you make Fallout videos, do kill quips. You can take mine, oh, that's fine. After playing Fallout for a very long time, you realize the true monster isn't the Institute or Death Claws. It's Preston. My advice to you yeah. is run up to him, press talk, I cleared out wait the for the soul survivor dialogue to finish, trouble. and then truck it in the opposite direction. You're welcome. Sometimes when you meet new people in Fallout, it's like, I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. I'm Dorothy Harry. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. And sometimes when you meet more boot and sometimes it's more like I'm Forrest Forrest Gump. How many years a husky shit who you are, plus ball? You're not even low like scum sucking bag. There's a few things I wanted from this game, and a few things that I expect in the next. The ability to design a companion to be the sole survivor in Fallout 5. Like what I mean is walk into a, a bar or something on a quest, and they'd give you the option to design a character. And what you design is yourself from the last game. Or maybe they'd have the ability to like load yourself in from the last game and boom, you'd be there. And then your new character in Fallout 5 could be followed around by your old character in Fallout 4 and it'd be neat and I think they should do that. The ability to become Brotherhood Elder and change their philosophies because they're stupid. The ability to convince Sean. The ability. The ability to convince Sean that synths aren't property so using the logic that he literally created them Sean. to be human like. And Nick's story. If I could do this, then preferably I could also convince the railroad and the institute to coincide. Synths who want freedom, get freedom. And if the institute doesn't like that, then they should figure out what's in their programming that's causing them to be sentient and change that. Why have a sentient, like, vacuum, you know, when you could just have a normal vacuum. If you're going to make something to be sentient, let it be for, whoa. If you're going to make something to be sentient, then are you really expecting to keep it a slave? Like, I don't, you know, what, what's, what's with that, huh? I'm white. A multiplier, a multiplayer mod. Why can't they just design it so that you could play multiplayer and the the secondary spot, the uh, you know second controller, would be a companion. Like they'd be coded in as a companion. Companions can't use the slow motion drug, and they can't auto save, and they can't um, you know buy or sell stuff. But that's fine. I mean, it'd still be fun to run around shooting things with your friend in Fallout Four. Why not? Or Fallout Five? Come on, do it. Fix it, Bethesda. Uh, something to do with my money, like buy position as Brotherhood Elder. Or, you know, buy vehicles. Yay! Hand, 
when I destroyed the Pridwin, there or I guess when everybody destroyed the Pridwin, there were still two living beings on it, and that was a cat and a child. Don't you think I could have grabbed them both and just jumped off before I destroy it, you know? I did not like that like, answer. Like, Bethesda? Like, what? What? Why, why, Bethesda? Hey, listen! For a game of choice and being who you want to be, Fallout got it sort of wrong at the end. And I understand that it's supposed to be like an emotional story, so they have to sort of push you to extremes. But, like, couldn't I have just gone with the original skate plan for the Institute, like getting 13 cents out? Well, couldn't I have, like, you know, passively tricked all the Institute people into, like, a meeting in one room and then locked them in there and then let all the synths escape? You know? Like, obviously these are irrational, but you'd think somebody would be smart enough to think up something other than shoot them all up! Wee! Guns! But, in their defense, it is an FPS game. Pork chop sandwiches! The Silver Shroud! Jumping, that was fun. Meeting up with the vault Tech rep, that was that was pretty neat. And I was kind to him and sent him back to my home. The ability to use sarcasm in almost every conversation. Ah, sarcasm. You never let me down. Except when you totally, completely do, which is most of the time. There's a lot of things on this island more important than you. Fighting ghouls is fun because melee. In my playthrough of Fallout, I had the modern firearms mod um, which is a must-have it's, it's a good one but um i had that downloaded so enemies could like take you out with their mp5 in like two seconds and ghouls can't so it was fun they were the only enemy you could just like sort of punch to death which i enjoy also when you first fight ghouls it, it's sort of scary which games need to have that more often just like regular fps games there need to be enemies that genuinely scare you on first contact Dog mate, or or dog meat, the the solid doggo. Curry, synth curry, best best companion. Fight me, one v one me, bro. At a double three sixty no scope, headshot. By the way, Bethesda, why does Curry's intelligence go down when she becomes a synth? Strength went up, HP went up, but intelligence went down seven notches. Well, clipboards. Intimidation's pretty great, right? You know, when it works. Which is never. Have nice days, y'all, and stay tuned for uh, more games with Komodo. Or don't. I don't. I don't care. But I'd like you to stay tuned. But you can do whatever you want. I assume you might be two years old. I don't know why you're watching this video. It's about Fallout 4. Love is sacred. Love is kind. But love is only.